Hello everyone and welcome to episode 8 of the TCC CTC Link vlog. I uh, just have a few things to cover in this episode. Uh, first of all, I want to say congratulations to Charlie Crawford. Uh, he was our episode 7 contest winner and he's been hosting a link down in Information Systems for the past couple of weeks. So stay tuned everyone for on Monday uh, for, epi for the episode 8 question and a chance to host link uh, in your area. Um, second thing I want to talk about is uh, data cleanup. We've been working on that. Uh, we started that process now and um, we've received error reports uh, for the biographic demographic data uh, on students. And Steve Ashpole and Drake in Enrollment Services have been working really, really hard uh, to clean that data up. And, and virtually all that data is, is cleaned up. There are some elements that, um, that are gonna remain and will just get purged as, they, as we go into conversion. But I just wanted to give a big thanks to, to Steve and Drake for all the hard work that they've, that they've, uh, they've done to, to get that data cleaned up and ready for conversion. Um, the, next, uh, the next set of data that'll be um, up for, error, for a cleanup and uh, well, they'll be giving error reports on will be uh, the biographic demog demographic data for employees. Uh, so soon there will be an instruction set coming out on how to extract that data uh, from the legacy system, um, the error report, and so you can start so that uh, we can start cleaning that data up. And I'll be in contact with folks in HR as soon as that uh, information is available. And then finally, I just wanted to uh, talk a little bit about the business process diagrams. Um, so when we went through the BPA sessions uh, a, few, a couple months ago, um, we one of the things that we did uh, through the BPA sessions uh, was the state group built these uh, business process diagrams, a kind of workflow uh, for business processes. And um, these diagrams are now available on the website, and it's important that folks uh, take a look at these diagrams, especially as they relate to your area. And if you do have any questions or concerns, you know, relay that information to me so I can pass it along to the state group, because uh, they're working on configuration uh, soon for the system, and these business process diagrams are going to be a, a part of that uh, configuration piece. Um, so I'll show you. I just want to show you how you can access those documents. Uh, so if you go to the main state board website and click on the CTC link, link um, then on the left hand side you'll see college resources and under college resources is, or is a link for business process diagrams. And then once you're on the business process diagrams page you'll see that there are three spreadsheets, one for each pillar. And all you have to do is click the link for the spreadsheet and I've already opened one of these up so I'm going to go ahead and bring it up here. Um, so this is the campus solutions. Uh, a spreadsheet and then all you have to do is click on any one of these links to pull up the business process diagram and I've uh, done that already for um, the academic managing academic careers and their their PowerPoint slides I mean they've been converted to a PDF but um, you'll see here that it talks about there's a legend um, for the business process diagram and then scrolling down you'll see the actual flow or the business process that's being uh, discussed so um, when you have some time, uh, please take a look at these documents, like I said, especially as they relate to your area. Um, and if you do have any concerns or any questions about the process itself, don't hesitate to email that information or give me a call um, so I can relay that information to the state group and, and help them in uh, informing the configuration of the system. Also feel free to, to contact um, any of the pillar leads in your area if you, if you choose to do so. So that would be Beth Brooks in HR, uh, Marianne Brummond in Finance, or Steve Ashpole in, in uh, Campus Solutions. So um, again, if you do have uh, questions or concerns, I'm happy to uh, help and, and address those as I can. Um, so that's all I have for this time around. Um, Hope everybody has a great weekend and uh, stay tuned for the question that comes out on Monday.